Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, here at the fabulous International Telecoms Week 2017 with my friend, Mr. Doug Lowy. He is the Vice President of International Accounts at Interaction. Doug, welcome to JSA TV. Great to be here. Fantastic to be at ITW, which is a smashing, successful event every year. It, it really is uh, quite, it's like telecom takes over Chicago. Uh, and it's really quite a quite an event. Um, so, for our viewers who may not already know, can you tell us the latest and greatest uh, on uh, Interaction? Happy to. Uh, Interaction's focus is providing quality data center services uh, throughout Europe. And what we're experiencing this year is an accelerated movement of the hyperscale cloud providers, uh, digital media companies, uh, uh, financial services firms that are, frankly, rushing to Europe to be able to capitalize on uh, growth opportunities that may not be necessarily occurring here in the United States. So we uh, have a record number of meetings this, this uh, event, and the customer engagements are rich. And not only are we solving for issues and opportunities this year, but we're having quite a vision for what's happening in the future. And you really do have such a niche, especially in the European marketplace. If I'm, uh, if I'm correct here, you have 45 data centers in 13 cities. Correct. I mean, that is extraordinary. Can you give us some more details, more scope? Sure. Uh, it's, it's not so much just the number of the data centers. It's where they're geographically located. Uh, the, the hub of the Internet within Europe tends to be around Frankfurt, London, Amsterdam, and Paris. And, of course, Interaction has a dominant presence in those respective markets. But we're, we seem to be adding significant value for U.S. headquartered companies looking to solve their data center requirements uh, in Europe is uh, places like Vienna. So you can get to Eastern Europe, uh, but hub out of somewhere safe and very secure and very, very uh, you know, solid from a business perspective out of Vienna. Uh, you can get to Russia by putting some of your assets in Stockholm as opposed to having to actually be in Russia. Uh, London continues to be our uh, forte when it comes to serving the financial community. For example, the London Metal Exchange has put its matching engine uh, in our data center in that location, so it's become the hub for the financial community. Uh, of course, Frankfurt continues to just go from strength to strength, but our, our signature asset right now is Marseille. With two undersea cables coming from uh, uh, Asia, uh, CME We 5 and AE1, which is 21 terabits of connectivity, uh, what we're experiencing that is quite significant is uh, the fact that all of the cloud providers as well as the content providers want to be able to put their platforms in Marseille. Uh, a proxy for how much that's changed is when we bought the facility a couple years ago, there were 45 uh, carriers in that location. As of last week, there's 114 carriers. So it's the convergence point for companies wanting to solve for Europe, Middle East, and Africa, but use uh, Marseille as the hub for being able to provide content and delivery down to Africa and over to Asia. So we've got carriers, we've got content delivery, we've got cloud. What other types of clients do you cater to? Those are uh, specific focus areas. The, the connectivity layer, of course, is uh, the hallmark. We have now over 500 carriers as part of the uh, organization. Uh, on top of that are the different hyperscale cloud providers, whether it's bare metal providers or traditional cloud providers. Uh, then there's the specific verticals, whether it be the ad tech community uh, from a digital media perspective, or as I mentioned before, our financial community of interest, which is, of course, uh, the banking community that calls not only places like London, but also Frankfurt and Zurich as home. You're talking... 500 uh, carriers, uh, companies, it's, it's unbelievable the growth that you've been experiencing. Can you tell us uh, some secrets behind that growth success story? I think the real key is recognizing that although our headquarters is in Amsterdam, we're listed on the New York Stock Exchange, and we service Western Europe, our forte is helping companies that are headquartered, for example, in the United States that are looking to make that journey to Europe. Uh, also, what we've experienced is Indian headquartered companies looking to uh, replicate their success story in India in Europe. And as of late, we've had some of the very large Chinese powerhouses that are executing what we call their uh, Silk Road strategy to be able to replicate their growth that they've had in China in Europe. And so we are having conversations with some of the most um, inspiring logos on the planet from Asia, from India, from uh, the United States coming to Europe, and that has accelerated our growth. It has accelerated our engagement with some of the you know, finest logos on the planet. So what do you think 2018 looks like for you? Um, sometimes more of the same sounds a little bit uh, of, a, of an excuse or a cop-out, but uh, we, we're recognizing at this stage the embracing of the cloud and, and companies saying, uh, we want to make sure that our 
uh, legacy applications or our n network nodes are going to be in a highly connected data center, such as Interaction, and then as they embrace the cloud, whether they want to burst workloads to a Microsoft or they want to burst workloads to an AWS or they want to have some bare metal platforms on Oracle, what companies are wanting to do now is de-risk where they're putting their information assets. And so they're choosing highly connected data centers, uh, highly cloud-centric data centers, such as Interaction, to be able to de-risk their business solutions. And then when you see things like Brexit, when everybody is saying, whoa, we need to either you know, have a presence in, in London as well as on the continent, since we can solve for those multiple geographies, uh, we're often seen as the company when you need to address data privacy laws, you need to address performance, you need to address the just the overall ubiquity of data, uh, our, our area of expertise is solving for those companies in Europe. Unbelievable. What a story. Thank you, Doug, for your time. Thanks and for having me. Just one last question. Where can our viewers go to find out more information? Classic is www.interaction.com, uh, our website. Uh, you can see our expertise in either the verticals we, we are um, proficient in or uh, the geographies. And uh, we're looking forward to having those continued conversations with those companies. Thank you. Wonderful. Interaction.com, definitely a company to, uh, to watch as they continue their success path. Thank you for joining us, Doug, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.